We have continuing coverage on some breaking news we first brought to you yesterday morning. Rentham police say 25 year old Carrie Coppinger of Winsocket was killed in a crash on Route 1 in Rentham. Now we're learning police have been making a continued push to make that dangerous stretch of road safer. Kate Walsh joining us live in studio with uh, why this deadly crash brings it all into focus once again. Kate. Well, that stretch of road is known as Death Valley by public safety officials. They said over the years they've responded to multiple deadly and serious crashes right there. And the latest was around 4 o'clock in the morning yesterday when 25 year old Carrie Coppinger was killed in a crash with a tractor trailer. Police say investigators believe her Ford Fusion drifted over the center line and the driver of the tractor trailer was identified as a 32 year old man who was not hurt. Rentham Police Chief Bill McGrath said they've been pushing to make the road safer there but now there's more concern because of an increase in businesses. We've never had this many instances of cars attempting to turn from the northbound side across the southbound and vice versa to get into businesses. It seems like every time that we're taking a body out of a car is when this thing comes into focus again, uh, but that's not the truth. The police and fire chiefs in Rentham said there is an effort to get barriers between the north and southbound lanes, adding that Jersey barriers have been put up in the northbound side by the stadium in Foxborough and up to Sharon. Some drivers said they even avoid Route 1 altogether if they can. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.